So the camera is normally run by Mrs. Real Easy Cooking, but when I told her what I was going to make today, she said she couldn't even be here to film this because it would make her puke just even to see me eat the food that I was going to make today. This should be fun. <music> So forgive the shaky camera work and the extra editing that's going to be needed to be done because of the tripod. This is the food that would make her puke. Have you guessed what I'm going to make yet? Here, maybe with the stuff organized like this, it'll make more sense. So what I'm going to do is it's a version. We're going to do some science experiments with the green onion wraps. We're going to try replacing the green onions with a cucumber spear, guts removed, a pickle. We're going to try replacing the, the cheese besides with Philly cheese. We're going to try it with cheese whiz. I think that's the part that made my wife kind of sick. You know, she's from Wisconsin and the concept of cheese in a can kind of grossed her out. And instead of just using the thin ham, we're going to try some chopped ham slices, some salami, and some pickled pimento loaf. If you've never had that, that's like one step down from head cheese. Head cheese is something really gross that really old people used to eat for lunch meat. This is one step above that, and salami and chopped hams uh, slightly better than that. All oh, this should be different. It's what not food that I normally eat. Cheese Whiz, which they didn't have Cheese Whiz, they had this generic Cheese Whiz shit. I don't even know if they still make Cheese Whiz in the can. I couldn't even find any online. And Philly Green Cheese, you know. We'll see how this turns out. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the roots off the onions. I had a couple of these go bad that I did actually plant outside. We're going to save the seeds from them this year when they, they're starting to seed out right now. If those seeds grow and mature, you can find out on our other channel, Enjoy the Culture. We do a lot of nature stuff and Legos and cars and other stuff like that. And tell stupid stories of stupid shit that I did. Alright, I'm not making any soup. That's what these would be great for, for me. And these I'm going to throw away also. Now, the cucumber. That's just a standard cucumber. I'm going to use about half of it. I want the spheres about that long. Potato peeler. Okay, you want to know a use for these? If you have cockroaches in your house, put these on the floor and the counter. Cucumber peels. The cockroaches will eat the peels and die, not because they're poisonous, but because it makes them have gas and cockroaches can't fart. I suppose this would work for other bugs or animals that don't have the ability to fart. I just don't know any except for cockroaches. And I don't have any cockroaches. Alright, taking this, quartering it. And cutting out the goop. This one doesn't have a lot of goop, so it's not bad. It's the worst part about tomatoes also. Mm -hmm. Let's throw the goop away. These are kind of big. Let's cut them in half again. Let's cut two of them. Yeah, we'll cut them all in half. Fuck it. Okay, now for the cream cheese. Put the cream cheese in a bowl with about two tablespoons of milk in there. 
That's just to thin it down a little bit. Take a big ass spoon and mush it. And mush it. Two things I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to mix the milk in with the cream cheese, which will thin it down a little bit. And I'm trying to incorporate air into the cream cheese, which will make it fluffy. So then it will spread like spreadable butter. And that's the consistency we're looking for. You ever made mud pies as a kid? It's basically the same type thing. But instead of mud, it's cream cheese. Instead of water, it's milk. Instead of your hands, you're using a spoon. And as it climbs up the back of my spoon, I magically use a second spoon and clean it off. Two spoons clean each other. You can buy it pre-mixed, but it's more expensive that way because what they're selling you is mostly air. So it's significantly cheaper and easier, better just to do it this way. See? Milk's all absorbed. It's all... Now, we have chopped ham, in which I should get me a serving plate and a twisting plate. So, let's take, let's open the meat, see what we got. Pimento pickle, pimento loaf. Made with chicken and pork. Mmm. If you've never seen this, it's lunch meat with little bits of shit in it. And kato salami, made with chicken, beef, pork added. Ooh. So they add that to it. I don't know what you gotta add chicken, beef, and add pork to it, but. Here it is, we're gonna try that too. All right, first one. Let's make one with ham. And mind you, I normally use shaved ham and stuff, so this is kind of different. All right, we're actually gonna try one of the onions. So we have a baseline comparison. Roll it. If you haven't seen how I roll these, it's in my other video on making green onion wraps. Turns out really big that way. Now let's try one with cucumber in it. Now pickle, I don't want to eat 16 whole pickles today test this, so we're going to use half a pickle. And I'm just gonna wrap it up complete like a, like I would a kid's green onion wrap without the green onion, obviously. All right, there's those three. Now we can repeat one. Ooh, don't that look pretty? No, it has to be good. It's fake cheese whiz. Or easy cheese. I'm also just gonna roll this one this way. A little extra cheese on that one. Didn't know how much to put. All right, now we repeat three more times. We are done with the ham. No. I'm so done. No, I'm done with ham. Get that out of here. The star of the show. Pimento loaf. Ooh. This is either going to be really good or really, really disgusting. I think this is the reason why the wife didn't want to film it. She probably has nightmares about this food. With an onion. Woo! 
because pimento loaf ain't strong enough. I mm, already did that one. They do this. Duh. Well, science is expensive on this whole package of this meat. Hope that these turn out well. Hope just one of them tastes good. Oh, that's gonna be a lot for me to eat. Alright, now down to the last six. The salami. Good thing I didn't have lunch today. That's how we got the easy cheese out. That didn't stick well. Alright, done with the easy cheese. Oh, the cream cheese. All right, let me clean up, wash my hands for dinner, and we'll see how these taste. Okay, here we are with my lunch. Let's try this first. Let's try the most benign and work our way up. Ham, cream cheese, and cucumber. You can taste the smoked ham flavor. That's different. Uh, ham, cheese whiz, and cucumber. Not, not good. That is crow food. Uh, leftovers we throw outside for the crows. And the crows come and eat the meat and stuff. All right, cucumber, salami, and cream cheese. Nope. Um, I gotta drink some milk. That's is a terrible idea. No, the salami, tan cheese, and cucumber. Oh, gross. All right, the thought that started all this. I wondered if this would be good. No. Olive loaf, cream cheese, and cucumber. No. So I'm betting that the cheese whiz, cucumber, an olive loaf is not going to be good either. Actually doable. But I need to take a break from that. Let's go through the rest of these before they make me puke. Salami, cream cheese, and onion. Don't like the salami. Oh, 
terrible. Ugh. I gotta take a break. Okay, let's try the last chunk here. Let's see if any of these are decent. These are terrible. Whose stupid idea was this? Ugh. to admit when the missus was right, but that was absolutely disgusting. Sometimes you try a new food combination or variant and it works, sometimes it don't. And there I went through 18 different variants of it to see if I could improve upon the classic green onion wraps and absolutely did not. So uh, I guess sticking with the original recipe that I did in the other video is a smart move. Playing this game, no one wins. So with that, puff puff fast, no perk on the grass, I'm out of here. That was absolutely disgusting. That was absolutely disgusting. I'll see you. Ugh. Time to go puke. These turn out well. No, the salami. Just one of them tastes good. Oh, gross.